So the D to D ratio has to do with the diameter or distance uh, of the load that you're picking up. Say we're picking up a piece of pipe that's 12 inches in diameter, okay? And then we're using a 3 8 sling, 3 8 chain sling, to be able to pick up that pipe. So 12 inches divided by the 3 8 chain sling size that we're using will give us our D to D ratio. So we always wanna make sure that say, you know, we're picking up that load that's 12 inches, 24 inches, 36 inches, and going around with a, a sling that gives us the proper D to D ratio, which generally uh, for a chain sling is gonna be six. You always wanna be above six, but that goes for all slings. I mean, so often working with wire rope and, and going around items, wire rope D to D ratio is extremely important to make sure that you're getting the full capacity of whatever sling angle you're using or sling that you're using. For nylons or synthetics, it's not really so much a concern. It can be a little bit, but for the most part, wire rope and chain is where you're gonna find D to D ratio being of supreme importance.